Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at branching in the program and hopefully you'll end up by creating a simulation of a bouncer at some sort of club. So I always like to think of branching as some sort of tree. If you start at the base and you want to get to the very tip of a branch, there are loads of different routes you can take. And every time you hit a branch, you have to make a decision. So let's illustrate that with an example. So if it's raining, then you put on a coat, you bring an umbrella. If it's cloudy, then you wear a coat. And then otherwise, if it's sunny, then you might wear sunglasses. And in Python, it's very similar to that. You have a series of conditions, and then whether or not they're filled, you make a choice. And you saw in the last video, we tried to sort of mimic that with our cool function that printed out whether or not you had milk in your tea. But this is a far simpler way, especially if you're trying to do it for a smaller range. And actually what goes on behind the program is what we try to do, but in a much more complicated way. And so let's start by looking at the syntax. So, if a condition, then statement. And you'll notice the keyword if is fairly simple. Again, like when we saw when you were defining functions, you've got that colon, then you've got a statement. And again, you'll notice there's white space here because as soon as that, as soon as you stop indenting, it stops being part of the statement. So let's go and play with that. So let's start by getting the person's age. So we're going to say age is equal to, and then we're going to get an input. We're going to keep it with integers. Hopefully not to enter the age as like 18 and a half years or 34.3 because no one really does that. So then we'll input and we'll ask them, what is your age? And I always like to get the answer on the new line. So I'll put a new line character there. And then we're going to say, if the age is greater than 70, you print, you are old. And then we're going to finish by just saying, thank you for using. And then we'll run it. Okay, what is your age? And I'll start by saying 71. And it says you are old. Thank you for using this. And now I'll run it again. But this time I'll say 50. And this time, you see it's not printed out you are old, but it has printed out thank you for using this. And that's because this is dedented. So here we've got a tab. And here we have them. So what if you're not old? So then we can use the else block. So you can say else. So let's say how about we change the age to 18. And otherwise we'll print you are a child and you are an adult. And really this should be greater than or equal to because you turn an adult when you're 18 and if you put 18 in then we want to say you're an adult rather than you're a child. So we'll run it again. What is your age? And this time we'll say 15. This is you're a child. Do it again. Say 24. You're an adult. And again, we can see because this is dedented, it always runs it. And here it's indented, and here it is. It's also indented. And you'll notice that it's not possible to run both of these because if this is not true, it will run this. And if this is true, it will run this. And one thing you might want to say is what happens if I put something else here, like print something. And we can run it and see. And we can see there's invalid syntax. And that's because the else doesn't follow the if. Because this is dedented. It's like we had before. 
this part is separate from here. And so it's done the if statement and then finished it and printed something. So you can't put anything in between. Okay, but what if we want to say that, you know, if you're if you're a teenager, then you're not a child. Well, one thing we can do is use the elif statement. And again, we've got a condition, unlike the else, which is just everything else. And so let's try that. So let's say elif age is greater than or equal to 13, then we'll print you are a teenager. And then I'll run it. What is your age? And I'll say 15. And we get you are a teenager and thank you for using this. And so now if you're greater or equal to 18, it will do this branch. And then if you're greater or equal to 13, but less than 18, so you don't satisfy this condition, then it will run this block. And we can illustrate that by putting in an age greater than 18 and seeing that it runs the first one. So always, if you have a, an if block, then it will run one and only one of the branches. So we can edit it a bit further. So maybe if your age is less than you know, maybe five, print, you are a baby. And again, it works. And something to note here is that you can have as many elif statements as you want. You can only have one if, which has to come first, and one else that has to come last. And in theory, you don't need this elif. So you can just have a series of ifs and then elifs. If you're putting out money, for example, and you want it to two decimal places, or if there are no decimal places, for example, one pound, then you have to put 0 0.00. If it's one pound, one point five pounds, then you have to put a zero on the end. But if it's already got two digits on the end, then you don't need to change it. And that's one way you might not edit it. So now let's start again. But this time we're going to program it as though you're a balancer, and we'll hopefully we'll be able to see some other concepts with if and else statements. I'm going to say rough age is equal to int input how old does the person look again with a new line and then we're going to say if their rough age is greater than 25 then we print you are allowed in otherwise if the rough age is greater than let's say 16 then we then we want to check a bit further and then else we'll print you are not allowed in and you notice it's currently coming up with an error because if we run this we'll see there's an expected an it is expected an indentation block so it wants us to put something here what we're going to do here is going to say real age is equal to int input and then what does their id say and again we'll put a new line and and then if the real age is greater or equal to 18, we print, you are allowed in. Otherwise, you are not allowed in. And so one thing to notice here is that we've got a nested block. So this on its own is very similar to this, but it's inside. And so you can have if statements and else statements inside of each other. And so again, we'll run it. 
how old does the person look? So we'll try and run each of the branches. So we'll start by saying that they look 30 and they're allowed in. Okay, now let's say that this person looks like they're 12 and you're not allowed in. So now let's pick someone who's 17. And what does their ID say? And their ID says they're 18. And then they're allowed in. And we'll run it one more time. And let's say the person looks like they're 21. But their ID says that they're 15. Then they're not allowed in. And so we've gone the simple if statement to combining and having nested if statement and hopefully you've enjoyed this if you ever become a bouncer on the door of a club you know what you're doing and i guess i'll see you again same time next week